storms and flooding in the central and northern parts of the province have left 11 people dead. Four others are listed as missing. Torrential rains have battered the area since Saturday, and so far nearly 140,000 people have been relocated. The rains in northern and central Sichuan are expected to continue until Friday. And in Beijing, it will be sunny today with a high of 35 degrees Celsius in the daytime, and it will be cloudy tonight with a low of 24. In Shanghai, it will be sunny today, 37 high, and it will be cloudy tonight with a low of 29 degrees Celsius. The will be overcast in the daytime, temperatures at 25, and tonight we'll have showers with a low of 15 degrees Celsius. Elsewhere in the world, being in Asia, Islamabad, sunny, 38, Kabul, sunny with a high of 29, and in North America, New York, thunder showers with a high of 27 degrees. Washington, thunder showers, highs of 28. Houston, sunny at 32. Honolulu, overcast, 28. Toronto, thunder showers at 24. And finally, on the South America, Buenos Aires, overcast at 18. All right, thank you very much, George. Plus, a reminder, a couple of ways to keep in contact with us here on the Asian Hour. You can follow us on our Weibo account. That's Weibo.com slash Hour. And you can also send us an email. Thank you. All right. See you around. Four minutes past the hour. Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is set to kick off his official visit to China later today. And CRI Suhi reports trade and energy cooperation and the environment also expected to dominate the week long visit. The proposed economic corridor linking the strategic water port with the western Chinese region of Xinjiang is expected to top Sharif's agenda in Beijing. The corridor was proposed by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang during his most recent trip to Pakistan last month. Wang Xu is assistant to the director at the Center for South Asian Studies at Peking University. He says the project, once completed, is going to benefit people on both sides. First, the project can strengthen Sino-Pakistan trade ties and help Pakistan to overcome some economic problems it's facing right now, including energy and power shortages. Second, it will help China integrate economically with South Asian and Middle East countries. The corridor takes over from Kashgar in Xinjiang, in southern Pakistan, for the water and energy. This is going to drive the development of Western China. The corridor consists of a series of special economic zones on top of a rail link and a pipeline providing China access to the Indian Ocean. During the six-day trip here in China, Sharif is going to discuss clean energy cooperation with Chinese officials. 